The CARICOM Secretariat and the World Food Program invite you to join the region's 25 by 2025 food security and nutrition revolution. Join us in being a part of the regional I Am Agriculture Youth Campaign. Experience testimonials from successful youth agri entrepreneurs from across the region. When I finished college, I said, you know what, um, I think farming is the business for me. You know, I wanted to do mechanical engineering. Although I did agriculture and food science, I wanted to do mechanical engineering. I always have a love for vehicles and so on. But um, looking at a Grenadian standpoint, farming is our backbone. Farming is something that we can run from, you know. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to start doing farming. I started with a friend in Munich. We started in, in the backyard. We do, uh, I think, a few crops there and then you know, I got some lands in Simon where we, we, we leased for 10 years. That didn't work out though. But we started small basically and we work our way up. And now I'm here today. I started here around five years ago. Started small just the same way it's a 12 acre plot, but now you could say basically we have the whole plot under cultivation. Both short crops, both tree crops. Over the past few years, I have been doing a lot of research in terms of how to, you know, change the farm and how to bring the farm to a level whereby, you know, it's less harmful to the environment, you know. And we do a lot of mulching in terms of water conservation and so on. We change our irrigation system. We use a lot of micro sprinklers instead of the heavy duty ones. So we try to conserve much as possible in terms of water, in terms of pesticides and so on, we use a lot less. Our farm thinks about the consumer, basically. You know, most people would do farming and they would think about the outcome, they would think about the finance, think about how much money they could make. But we think about, would the consumer love our goods? You know, so we always try to put consumer love in our goods. We always try to make sure that the consumer is happy with what we do, you know. We don't, we try not to use too much pesticides, you know, we try to go the conventional way, you know, the best way because we use our products. So I think that's what makes us stand out. Agriculture in general is kind of sidelined. You know, it's, it's sidelined. You know, I mean, enough emphasis is not put into agriculture. You know, I, I wouldn't say just farming, agriculture on a whole because we could do more in terms of exportation, manufacturing, in terms of nurturing the, 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 the youths in knowing what agriculture is about. But basically, the people and we as young people could do a lot more. Because I mean, the government could come, they could give me a million dollars. They could give me tools. But if I don't use it the right way, if my mindset is not in the right direction, then it's almost a waste of time. Basically, I think it's mainly a standpoint from on the people's side, you know. I think cooperation, you know, both the farmers and the, the, the Ministry of Agriculture, the government, cooperation between the farmers and the students, cooperation between the farmers and the consumers, you know, would make much of a difference instead of we always, you know, we're looking for the government to actually do something. See, if you want to get into agricultural field, any field in, in agriculture, because, you know, agriculture is broad. You have farmers, you have fishermen, you have veterinary officers, extension officers. It's all about patience. Life in general is all about patience. You can't wake up tomorrow morning and have it all. You know, I didn't get here waking up tomorrow morning and have it all. I've been working for years and I'm still working because there's a lot more to accomplish. So you got to have goals, short term goals, long term goals, futuristic goals and stick to them. I always have a plan B. You know, if something isn't working out today, that doesn't mean something else won't work tomorrow. So patience is key. My name is Floyd Matthew from Paradise St. Andrew in Grenada and I am Agriculture.